What's up YouTube? Bobbles and Ball Cards back. I uh, got another video for you. Um, first off, I just want to again say uh, hope everybody's doing good. Um, everybody's healthy. Um, continuing to fight this uh, virus that's going around and hopefully things will start looking up here soon. Um, with that, sports cards have always you know, been something that we can kind of look at, and, like I said before, to kind of de defer our mind to something else. Um, obviously, sports aren't around right now, so this is kind of a, a way to keep us attached to the games that we love and, um, you know, have some fun in the hobby. <clears throat> um, today's video, um, I've had a, 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 actually, before I get go into this, um, I want to say thank you to everybody that has reached out to me, whether it be commenting on the videos, uh, messaging me on Reddit, um, messaging me through Instagram. Um, I want to say thank you to you guys. I hope I've been able to answer people's questions. Um, I know several people have messaged me and um, said that they're preparing their first submission with SGC. So that's awesome. It's good to hear that. Um, a lot of people are giving them a chance. I know, you know, with circumstances uh, with PSA and BGS being shut down, some people, you know, are giving them a shot, and it's great. Um, with that, uh, there's also still a lot of negativity towards it, and what this video is for, um, obviously a few days ago I did the video with my, uh, my 110 card bulk reveal, um, with those, I have listed approximately 30, 35 on eBay. Um, when I first listed them, I, I was kind of, you know, trying to figure out what to price stuff at because obviously there's not a large SGC market right now. Um, I wasn't 100% sure where to put the prices at, what to compare them to. Um, after a couple of sales and doing some research, I actually came up with a pretty good idea of what to compare prices to at this point in the market. Um, out of 110 cards, like I said, I, I listed 30 to 35. I have sold approximately 15 so far in the past three days, I believe it is. Um, so I wanted to kind of go over that and maybe uh, give some info to people that maybe uh, on the fence about SGC, maybe worried, you know, hey, am I going to get good value in return for my cards if I send them off to them? Um, so that's what this, uh, this video is for. Um, obviously, I've already packaged the cards that I've sold up, so I'm going to be using, some of these will be a, a different copy um because interestingly enough one of the ones that have sold the most is the nine five grades i got those have seemed to uh gain a lot of interest which was really surprising i was worried about how much loss i would take on those and obviously they're you know they're less than a 10 but um what i have found with the 9.5s is I can get more for an SGC 9.5 than I can if it was a PSA 9. Why I state that and why that is important <clears throat> and to maybe give some insight with this for you know some people that may not understand. PSA 10 is obviously gem mint. There's no middle grade. So your next drop is to a 9. SGC, you have the Gold Label Pristine, you have the Gem Mint 10, and then you have the Mint Plus 9.5. So you have another step in there between before you hit the 9, whereas PSA, if you don't 10, you're getting a 9. Um, on BGS, there's a misconception because everybody thinks that they're going to get a BGS 10. And a BGS 10 is higher than a PSA 10. BG, they're looking at the number and saying a 10 and a 10. But the BGS 10 is pristine. 
you have to get three 10 subgrades to get that pristine 10. You have to get all four to get the, the illustrious black label. I, I can't confirm this, but if I had to throw a guess out there, being that 9.5s are the most common grade that BGS gives, because it is gem mint, you probably have roughly between a 5 to 10, I would say maybe 5 to 8% chance of getting a pristine on a card. My order, someone uh, messaged me and said, man, you got a lot of gold labels, you know, are, are you sure SGC grade's tough? My ratio was 8.5%. Every card I put directly into a card saver that, you know, I don't go from top loader. Majority of my cards were pack pulled by me, not purchased raw from eBay or, you know, a card show or whatever. Some were, but the majority were pack pulled. Um, and even at 8.5%, that's a low market. You know, th that's a low number there. 100 cards, you're getting 8 to 9. Um, so, when people, you know, get this idea that they can send a BGS and a 10 is going to be worth more, yeah, the reason it's worth more is it's so rare. And then you send a PSA, and if you don't 10, you're basically losing money. So, with all that, and with the fact that the 9.5s are selling for more than a PSA 9, obviously more than a PSA, or a BGS 9, that is good news. Now, to take it further, an SGC 10, I'm finding I can get more on an SGC 10 gem mint than BGS 9.5 gem mint are selling for this is huge because that means if people are sending the bgs unless they get a 10 pristine sgc is sell outselling them in value the, i mean it, so the other comparison has been psa now yes psa 10s outsell and it's honestly a, a pretty odd margin because I, I don't know why there's such a huge gap. Um, but you take, I mean, you're still taking the risk of getting the 9. With with SGC, if you don't get this 10, I might could get a 9.5, which I did. In fact, I'm using this one as an example because I sold the 9.5. Um... With this card right here, and I'm going to try to put little pop-ups up to show my sale prices um, from my eBay. But this card, in the 9.5 version, I got $50 for. Um, I believe the BGS, let me, I'm trying to look at my phone here real quick. Um, let's see, 2019 Guerrero. On a PSA 9, I'll compare it to the 9, um, they go for 40. So a PSA 9 of this goes for 40. A 9.5 SGC goes for, I, I got 50. Um, so that's good news. Um, the next card is a really popular card. Ronald Acuna. A BGS 9.5 on this goes for let me see here I should have did notes on this the last one sold was $78 now this did not have subgrades so um you're looking with subgrades it's under a hundred bucks if you go on my eBay and go to my sold listings, this will say 110 on a uh, SGC 10. I actually got 120. Um, reason it says 110 is a guy had bought multiple cards off of me, and he went ahead and paid instead of waiting for an invoice. I do combine shipping when I sell. Um, so with the difference of him paying multiple transactions and shipping charges, 
I told him I would agree to 120 for the card, but I knocked it to 110 instead of refunding him on PayPal. Um, I just went ahead and changed the price to 110. So I got 120 for the Acuna. Um, Tatis, I've sold two of these in a 9.5 version, not the 10 here, as you see. Um, the Tatis on a PSA 9 is, real quick, let me look this up. Apologize for this. Uh, this is a new way of, a new entry into videos from me doing it this way. But um, you can pick a PSA 9 of this up for, looks to be about, if my phone will pull up here. Actually, the uh, those are chrome. Um, hang on a second here. About seventeen bucks is a PSA nine on this, and a nine five. I got thirty dollars, so nearly double from a nine five SGC to a PSA nine. Um, I put this one in. I, I don't have a whole lot of comparisons. A lot of people mainly buy um, the autos. Um, I had three of these base refractors laying around. I sent them in. Um, wasn't quite sure what I would get out of them. I know this kid's a, a top, you know, he's a hot prospect. Um, this, I accepted an offer of $80 on. Um, so, I feel that's, that's pretty good. Um, I know a gold in nine i think it was bgs 95 could have even been a psc 10 i'm not 100 percent sure but i know the gold refractor non-auto only goes for 200 so um 80 bucks on the base refractor i thought was a great deal i know golds normally bring much more premium so um dylan carlson refractor 80 bucks Next up is the Juan Soto, the um, Tops paper update. I sold, I've sold three of these so far. I only listed five of the ones I had. I do have three um, kept back. But basically, what I did was every card that I had multiples of, I would list um, as far as tens go. And then obviously the nine fives and stuff I listed so that's why i've only listed like 30 to 35 cards so far um i've sold three of these um one was to the guy that bought multiple items from me i gave him two of them at 65 a piece and then i sold one yesterday um a guy sent me an offer for 70 so i took 70 on this um these go for roughly i think 55 to 60 in a BGS 95 for the paper yeah the, the last one um, was 51 53 those were non subgrades the last subgrade one went for 71 um, and then there was another one on the second went for 61.87 so bgs 95s are, are roughly right in the 60 average um i've gotten 65 on two of these and 70 on one of them so pretty good return there and then on the chrome i sold the one the other chrome i had um it wasn't a gold label it was just a regular 10 um, I got 75 for it. Again, this was an offer. Most of, I, I have everything as a buy it now or best offer price. Um, and I kind of have, after real research, uh, an idea of what I'm willing to accept on them um, based on my comparisons. And so far, um, it, it's been working out. Um, once the market gets more like smooth with with SGC cards, I think it'll be easier for us to determine um, pricing. Um, so right now, 
you know, I might be sl I might be able to get slightly lower. I, I might could have gotten 90 for it, but I, I took 75. That was more than a BGS 95. Um, you know, this is a card that's not hard to get a good grade on. It's not a low populated card, so I felt 75 bucks was fair. Um, anyway, um, again, I hope this helps uh, smooth over some of the questions or concerns with people going to SGC. Um, I hope it, you know, can maybe prove a little bit to these people that are still stuck in the box that BGS and PSA is the only way to go. Um, I'm getting good value out of SGC graded cards. And in fact, I kind of prefer it because then I don't have to worry about, you know, people talk about, well, is this card pop controlled by PSA? And then you get a nine. Um, I don't have to worry about that. If I get a nine five, I'm still making more money than if I had gotten a PSA nine. If I get an SGC 10, I'm making more money than if I got a BGS 9.5, which is their gem mint form. Um, I have not tried to sell any of the gold labels. These could potentially sell for more than a PSA 10. I, I don't know. I'm not going to claim that. Um, I'm Actually, I have all of mine set aside that I'm keeping. Um, I really pray that this market goes up. Um, I, I hope people give them a chance. Like I said before... Um, their customer service has been awesome. The turnaround time was amazing. And they are the cheapest fees in between any of the three. Any of the three major, they have the cheapest fees, fastest turnaround time, and best customer service. So, anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to make this, you know, quick. Uh, I apologize for the, the delays looking up cards and everything. I should have, like, typed it out in notes or something. Like I said, this is the first time doing this, so kind of new. Um, just wanted to jump on and kind of uh, give a little bit of insight on this to hopefully help some people out. Um, I know Filmington reached out to me. He, I, he commented on the video. Um, we spoke a little bit the other night. Um, I've spoke to Elite 3 Nolan, um, a few times. Um, I know he watched the video. Uh, I believe he also has a bulk return out with SGC right now. So interesting for him to get his order back. I'd like to see it. Um, UNC Collector, he reached out to me. Um, I've seen his post on Instagram of some cards he got back. So the, the market is coming in. Um, there are a lot of people um, that are, you know, it's a big talk right now. And uh, it's good to hear. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, um, please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. Uh, if you got any questions, never hesitate to reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer anything I can. Um, we are uh, approaching 40 subscribers right now, which isn't much, I know. But um, I do want to do little giveaways at different levels when we reach different milestones. Um... So I'll be discussing that more in the future. But anyway, guys, please stay safe. Um, enjoy collecting your cards and discussing the hobby. Um, hopefully everything will, will get back to somewhat normalcy here soon. But anyway, until the next video, I'm out.